Moscow is concerned about the possible use of mercenaries by Kiev to try and quell anti-government unrest in eastern Ukraine. According to the very latest reports, around 150 private American military contractors have been brought in from a private firm called Greystone. RT's Guy Nature Chikan has details. In a span of less than two months, we've seen Washington go from cheering for protests with takeovers of government buildings in Kiev to exactly the opposite, now trying to help Kiev quell the uprising in the eastern part of Ukraine. Moscow has accused the U.S. of sending mercenaries disguised as Ukrainian special task police to crack down on protesters. On its website, Greystone says it's providing various security services. Details are nowhere to be found. Greystone is known as a mercenary firm that the U.S. government hires for specific operations, with secrecy as its major suit. The firm has denied its presence in Ukraine. It has an independent capacity in the sense that it's an independent business. That gives it the ability to plausibly deny uh, any allegations and allow the U.S. government to say, we don't know. Greystone was founded by Eric Prince, who also created the infamous military contracting firm formerly known as Blackwater. Blackwater received hundreds of millions of dollars to protect U.S. personnel in Iraq and Afghanistan. The mercenaries became known for their recklessness. In one incident in 2007, a group of Blackwater contractors shot and killed 17 Iraqi civilians and wounded 20 others at a square in Baghdad. No one was held accountable. But we have to recognize that this leopard cannot change its spots. It is the same beast. And it's a predatory organization. It's accountable to no one. It works in the shadows. And as a consequence, uh, the people of the world uh, have to fear them. Because of the bad reputation Blackwater has gotten from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, its management has rebranded and renamed the firm several times. It was called Z Services at one time, and it was from Z Services that Greystone split off four years ago. Some lawmakers are pushing the Obama administration to arm Ukrainians. I want to know, and I think the American people should know, and maybe most importantly the people of Ukraine should know, why won't we give them some defensive weapons? With respect to arming and providing assistance to the Ukrainians, the fact is that we are currently working with Ukraine to determine their requirements across the entire security sector. Some carefully worded statements by Washington to keep the extent of its operations in Ukraine largely unknown. In Washington, I'm Ganesh Chekyan, RT.